2020 Radio is back. John Rowley here. <laughs> Jeremy Whiteford here. The buzz is the open starts in two weeks and one day. Two weeks and one day. Yeah, first announcement. Which is pretty darn exciting. So the open is this worldwide, quote unquote, competition. Um, it's an online, or it used to be an online. We used to say it was an online qualifier for the game. Qualifier yeah. for the games. It's no. Well, longer. for for the regionals now it is actually an online qualifier for right. the games. Right. Yeah. So uh, basically, what it is, it's five workouts over the course of five weeks that we all complete. They're announced on Thursday nights at seven p.m. And you have until Monday at 7 p.m. to get your scores in. So a lot of people will do the workout on Friday. Uh, we've got a new new little uh, feature this year that we're kind of excited about. We'll talk about in a second. Um, a lot of people do the workout on Friday. Some people do it on Saturday. Some people do it on Sunday. Some people will do it on Monday and or redo it on, I was say, on Monday. Redo it on Monday. And, uh, you know, the, the thing about it is it's a kind of a community building event. Everybody comes together. Everybody's doing the same workout. We mm-hmm. all complain about the same thing for, for one week. Across the whole world. Yes. So everybody's complaining about the same workout program yeah. by the same people. Yeah. Yeah, for so, the whole 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 so weekend. Throughout throughout the year for us, 99% of the workouts that we program are done in house. Yeah. Okay, so uh, this is the, you know, five workouts of the year that we have no say over. So it's just kind of like it's a test of like where where are you? Yeah. And for for better and for worse. Yeah, where are you? What have you been doing? The thing that it's twenty dollars. I don't know what twenty one. Twenty one ninety three is I think tax. They charge you tax. I think it's twenty one ninety six or something yeah, like that. Ninety three. Twenty one. Yeah. So let's, it is. Let's not false advertise here. Yeah. You gotta. You gotta have the. You gotta have the tax on there. Twenty one ninety something. It's like ninety three. We'll call it for that for tax. No. One thing I thought about that was cool is like, there, we know there's other CrossFit gyms here in in town, right? We know they're all over the world. Yeah. But you never know exactly what they're doing. Right. Except for these five weeks, you know exactly what everybody else is doing. I think that I think that's really cool to kind of see. It. And then you you can go on the leaderboard. They have a new thing on the leaderboard this year on the online, where you can base it off of hashtags like hashtag twenty twenty. Oh, cool! And that's how you can create your own custom leaderboard. And so you base it off the hashtag hashtag moms hashtag whatever, and they give you recommendations that you can do. But it creates an own leaderboard. Like, where are you as mothers in Kansas? Yeah. You know, where are you on the leaderboard? And it's just really cool to see where you're at and what you're sitting at um, and what you need to work on. It, what you need to work on, I think, this is the biggest thing for people to focus on because you, you're you going to suck. <laughs> yeah. So like, There's always going to be something. Like, you're going to suck. You're, you're going to have a weakness. Uh, is it better to not know that you have a weakness or to have it called out blaringly? Uh, I, I, I mean. It needs to be called it out. It needs to be called out. So, so the thing about it is you're going to look at that leaderboard of these moms. So you got you 40 something moms. Yeah. Okay. So you're 40 years old and you're a mom and you look and you're at the bottom of the leaderboard. Well, to me is like, look at who's at the top and look at what they're doing. Yes. That should open up a whole realm of possibilities for you yeah. of what you could be achieving. So then, you know, so now where you might be content with doing jumping pull-ups and you're like, whatever, I got a good workout. Today. Yeah. Or now, maybe that's you, you think you're, that's the only thing that you'll be capable of because sure. you are a, because a lot of people put the, well, I'm a, I'm a 40, I'm just, we're using 40 year old moms. Yeah. I'm a 40 year old mom. I can't do pull-ups. Ah. Uh. Okay. False. Yeah. Presently. Don't, yeah. Presently, don't put that on yourself. Look right. at what other forty-year-old moms are yeah. doing. You know. Yeah. So it, that's to me, it's really motivating to see what is possible and what, what's out there. So basically, the the first one is going to be February twenty-first on Thursday nights. We'll do um, we'll do an announcement, and there'll be a small group that'll go off and uh, and do the workout kind of as a as a trial run right as they right as they announce it. Like we said before, it's twenty-one bucks, and you know this deal the the money. From this, all goes to CrossFit. We don't have any benefit from it at all. Um, aside from the pa- fact that people take it a little bit more seriously when you put money down. Yes. I mean, you'll submit your scores. Yes, absolutely it's, submit your scores. And people will be like, well, I'm going to do the workouts anyways. I don't really care about – just no, it's sign. Different. It is it's so different. much different. Yeah. You submit it online. Everybody can see it. Yes. Well, I mean, you know that when you're doing the workout. Yeah. I mean, just a sheer fact. So that, that Road Royal Challenge that people are doing right now. Yeah. Right? I did not sign up. I do not care. Right? Right. You don't have anything to I submit. don't have anything to submit. So it's like if I'm not signing up, then you don't have as much uh, like no buy-in. pressure to actually go do this workout. Yeah. So, so do even it. though Just even though you're up. gonna do them anyway, you sign up, it's twenty bucks, it's five weeks, it's the cheapest five K in the history of the world. Oh my gosh. It's really a twenty five K because people will pay sixty dollars to go do some race. <laughs> You know, that you could go do yeah. on your own. But here, it's you, you get to be a part of the community. You'll go that much harder in the workout. There's the, These workouts aren't different than what we do on a day-to-day basis. No. 
you know, we, we've done some open workouts the last couple of weeks, and we do some really, really tough, tough workouts. But the difference here is you're going to submit a score and everybody's going to know. So you just go. There's just something else that changes. Just go a little bit harder. Yeah, because you don't uh, mean something or something. I don't know. It yeah. just gets you. We want you to participate. So if you haven't done it before, got it, got to do it. If you've done it before, encourage others to, to go along for the ride. Yeah. Oh, and this is there's RX scaled. You can yeah. I mean, you can do literally whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah. RX are scaled. Say you're, you're thinking, well, I can RX some of them, but I'm, I'm going to have to scale some of them. So Perfect. be it. That's amazing. Whatever. Most that, people will. What, what I like about that is you know where you are. So, you know, hey, this year, 19.3, I couldn't do it. Yeah. That's, that's, you're, you're still going to get a workout that day. Yeah. It's not like we're robbing you of that, but you're going to do the scaled version and, and know that that's something you got to work on for the, a lot of the, times those scaled versions are harder than the RX. Well, cause you can just keep going. Cause you can just keep yeah, on moving. Some of the RX ones where that have like a, a really heavy weight or a muscle up or something like that. Everybody hits the brakes there and you know. Yeah, they get stuck. But with the scale, you can just keep on rolling. Yep. So, so like we said, 7 p.m. Thursdays, there's going to be a little announcement. Small amount of people will do that then. And then it'll be programmed in the mornings for the yep. workout in the mornings. But then we're doing so we'll, a, have, we'll have all regular classes th throughout the day. But then we're going to do a little Friday night light. So we actually sign up for heats. So it'll be like we'll know the time domain that's going to be happening. And it'll sign up on the whiteboard. And it'll be, you know, from 5 to 7, potentially longer. And uh, you're going to you're going to come in. You're going to be assigned to a heat or whatever heat that you signed up for so say you're going from 5 to 5 30 if it's a 20 minute workout whatever come in rip and ready to go first heat's going to take off at five o'clock right everybody so watches in, you come in, get warmed up yeah do all that fun stuff and then when you're done with it you're done with it. Then you could go cheer on other people and like judge other people. Judge other people. So it'll be it'll be a lot of fun. And that way, like the next morning, you don't have to go to work on Friday. You don't have to. If you don't work Saturday. If you don't work Saturdays, then you don't have to worry about that. Uh, and it gives you just an opportunity to come around with everybody. You don't even have to work out that night. But yes, it'll be more fun to watch definitely than anything. Have people, especially if you did it. Maybe you did it Friday morning and you come back and you see Friday night. It's just it's it's interesting the way the week develops. Is Thursday night you're like what's gonna be what's gonna be you're like oh. Oh my God! It's this. It's this movement. Yeah. It's, okay. How are we going to do that? How are we going to pace it? And then once we see a couple workouts go through, people start to strategize. So our thinking with doing this on Friday night is there's going to be a whole host of people that have already done it, and there's going to be a whole bunch of experience learned. Yeah. And then you know on Friday night you can come in and crush it because you know what know what to expect. Yeah. Or even say you want to come in Friday morning and you're like, hey, I'm just going to practice some of these movements. And right. then Friday night, I'm like, tonight I'm going to come in and, and crush this. Right. Be like that, that's a fantastic way to do it too. So I think it'll be a lot of fun. I'm look, I'm going to work out on Friday nights. So it's going to be your slot. That's going to be my slot. And I know you're doing Thursdays, mm -hmm. right? Thursdays and then probably Saturdays Thur and Mondays. Thursdays and Mondays. And Thursday and Saturday probably too. I like to redo stuff. I'll, I'll redo a couple of them if it's if it's a higher skill one. I'll yeah. probably, probably redo it. Now, last last week we talked about uh, goal setting. Yeah. This is a excellent opportunity to take what you suck at and like you got, you got two day two weeks in a day yeah two weeks in a day but also like think about so after this is done uh you'll have a lot of things that you're not good at correct now you only get better at them if you choose to take what you didn't get good at and actually work on it so right. like mine last year was handstand push-ups mm -hmm. Every other year before that, it's been handstand push-ups. I just never worked on it. And I get to the open, I'm like, still suck at handstand push-ups. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This year, I decided to actually work on them. So, like, I'm looking forward to handstand push-ups this year. Right. Uh, whereas every other year, I'm like, oh, crap, are they going to do it? Yes, they're going to do handstand push-ups. Right? So, um, it's a great opportunity to goal set and then keep yourself accountable all through the year. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. pick your weakness and, and, and work on it. You'll see a little sheet that we have printed off around the gym, or you've probably seen it already, of, of all the open movements. Yeah. And, and what they've done in the past is typically indicative of what they'll do in the future, but they always throw some sort of curveball at us. And the ones that get people the most are typically a toes to bar, uh, a muscle up, a double under, and a pull up. And, yeah. and those those kind of gymnastics and plus the, the jump rope are, are skills that, can probably be worked on in the next two weeks. If you know you can barely do a pull-up, muscle-up's probably not something for you to worry I about. I work about that. But do you have your double-unders? Yeah, you know? low-hanging fruit right now. Yeah, low-hanging fruit. Because you're not going to miraculously get a, a bunch stronger yeah. in the next two weeks, but there are skills that you can work on. And maybe you haven't practiced a chest of our pull-up. You can get a lot better at chest of our pull-ups oh in two yeah. weeks just by practicing them. Further, if you want to get really good at pull-ups, just and I'm not being harsh here, lose a couple pounds. I, I've help. lost three pounds this yeah, week, I've lost and my pull-ups felt so good this morning. <laughs> yeah. I've lost 20 pounds since the new year, and they feel way different. Yeah. Way so. different. Um, 
Yeah. Oh, and if you are a competitive person, feel free to uh, throw a little like wagers, wagers on the table, like bets, <laughs> little 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 wagers and bets for who, people who as you're think, going. Who you think's gonna win? Who's gonna beat who? We need yeah. some side. Uh, we need maybe side we'll do a full episode of on gambling. Uh, <laughs> we'll have to bring in our our most degenerate gambler and Thanks. have uh, have he or she set us up some. Uh, I don't even know. I'm not a gambler, so set us up. Some I don't even know how that spreads, works. <laughs> <if you will. laughs> um, but yeah. So uh, until then, uh, work on the low hanging fruit. Gamble with your friends and uh, sign up for the open games.crossfit.com. It's a blast. It's five. I mean, it's it's like not fun, but it's fun. It's yes. It's like yep. It's a love hate relationship. Double edged sword. Yeah. You'll, be, you'll be so stoked the first week, and then by the fifth week, you'll be so stoked it's over. <laughs> yes. It's really kind of the way it works every year, uh, but we're excited to participate with all you guys, and uh, we'll see you in here soon.